Hello and welcome to another quick video about my implementation of Mongoose Traveller for Foundry Virtual Tabletop. This time I'm going to look at another actor type, which is the package. So we can start by creating a actor, we'll create a traveller, call them Fred, and here we have a basic default character. They have all characteristics at seven and a set of skills. So um, if we want to create a new character, um, we can use the slash UPP command to get a set of random characteristics. We can drag that up there and we can drag them around if we want them to have a higher endurance than social rank, etc. Another way of setting initial characteristics is via the packages. So if we go to our list of compendium packs and look at base actors, alien races, we have here something called human. So if we drag human onto here, we can see our species is set to human and we've got a new set of characteristics um, in our history. We've got a career now of human. And under equipment lists, we've now got an unarmed strike, which we can activate to so it appears in our list of quick, quick actions. So what happened here? So if we take a look at human, so it's defined as a racial package. Their species is set, we've got a default height and weight set. Uh, we have characteristics set to all to be 2d6 and we've got a item defined for them and we've got a career defined for them. We have a look at their career. You see the term length is set to zero, which means they don't count as aging or anything. Um, but we can set up a, a number of different things. So we close that down and we go to actor, we can create our own package. So let's create a package. Um, uh, let's create a spacer. So let's give them a description. And what we can do is we can say, OK, Spacer has minus one to strength. Um, maybe they have plus one to dex and plus one to int. And they have a number of skills. So we could give them a back skill of one. We could give them athletics dex as a skill. Uh, we could maybe give them Science, what do we need to give them any? Uh, let's give them engineering. So they, they have a number of skills defined for them. Uh, we can give them a career term. Yeah. And maybe this is a background career term, like um, defined in the compendium. So this character who up space station or in an asteroid belt. Okay, so that's defined. Um, we can also give them a contact as well. So let's belt of contact. Close. So there we go. We've got a number of things to find. If we wanted to, we could create an item. Um, what shall we give them? Oh, let's. 
Let's give them a vaccine. Why not? Um, it's a suitable icon for vaccine. There we go. Uh, it's a take a late vaccine. Uh, let's give it some random. So that's I can't remember how much vaccines are worth, but we can give that a cost. And we can say it requires skill of vaccine one. Those. Uh, they've got skill of vaccine one. So we can add, add that in. So this space package includes vaccine and it includes a number of skills and and the content. Um, spaces are known for being quite tall. Um, they're filters, so we can change that as well. Um, it's not a profession, it's a background. Species, we won't set that. So there we go. So we've now got a spacer background. And if we drag that onto our character, um, see it's added a uh, back seat as an item that's owned. If we look at our skills, so we, we've now got a set of skills. We've got our human racial background and we've got a space spacer background. Again, both of these have been set to um, not have zero years for the length of the term so they don't affect our entry age. And we've got a set of characteristics. Now, what our racial background did was something different. So if we create another one, package, um, so we'll create one as an alien, type of alien, don't know. So we can mark this as a racial package. So what this allows us to do is set default roles for the characteristics. So wait, maybe this is a some type of gray, which it's a lot, maybe they're not that strong. Um, maybe they're on average. So we could use 3d6 keep two as a um, dice type. Um, keep, so keep lowest two, so it will tend to average towards um, a lower strength without going below two. And uh, maybe there. Uh, or give uh, no, let's just give them a standard 2d6. And maybe they start with astrogation. And we can add anything else as well. There we go. So when we create a new character, uh, they should have some sides. Um, we can use this package to define. So create a, let's create an NPC. Um, Alien one. So this is our package, and if we put pass that onto here, uh, we'll see it will all our strength and decks and things like that for us, and it will give us our, our basic skills. And Oh, uh, because it's an NPC, it doesn't have career terms, so that, that won't show up. But we, we can still use it with the NPC. And, yeah, and there's actually nothing stopping you applying this multiple times if you really want to. It's not recommended and um, skills will add on. So if we ch change that, skill and we on each time we add it on it will add up another skill level so if, if you've got um, multiple packages like you have in the compendium where you've got a background package and also a career package then um the 
you, you can apply multiple ones. You can also create your own packages if you want to sort of quickly put together NPCs. And one other thing to take a look at. Um, so we have a tick box here for random term length. Um, what that will do is when the term is applied to a character, it will set the term length to 3D6 years, which again is a feature from the from the companion. So basically it allows you to set up a set of templates uh, which which can be used to quickly set up NPCs or during character generation if you want to go down the quick character generation route and you can also set use it to set up racial racial packages as well so Vargas, Aslan, Waps, what, whatever you want and you can set these characteristics to be what characteristics you um those racial types should should run. And actually if we have a look here um uh, where are we? Let's have a look at biography. Yeah um so when we apply the space um the, spacer template or any other um, if a height and weight is set on the template um, then it will randomly determine a height and weight for that character and that will be based on uh, what what's here and then modified by the physical characteristics and if you set the gender beforehand then it will tend to modify those upwards or downwards depending on whether you have male or female anything anything else it tends to take an average uh, of course you can modify these as much as you want afterwards it's just a quick way of setting a something that's non-default um, for each each new character Okay, and that's a quick introduction to how packages work and what they're useful. Okay, thank you.